Hey guys, today is Christmas Eve and I want to make some gingerbread cookies. I already made the dough. <laughs> I already made the dough. Now I'm going to cut it into little gingerbread man and Christmas tree. At the same time, I wanted to talk to you about 18 things I learned in 2018. So the first thing I learned in 2018 is that being vulnerable is not a bad thing. I think it takes a lot of courage to show the practical side of yourself and it's absolutely daunting to reveal your heart but trust me it will set you free and you will love yourself so much more um, if you let yourself be vulnerable number two it's okay to relapse I think the hardest part about um, mental illness or chronic illness is the relapsing you can feel amazing for a few days a few weeks but then suddenly you just fall back into the darkest place that you always try to escape but i realized that relapse happens and you just have to accept it and it's just like serving a wave it comes but it eventually goes away Number three is that it's okay to take a rest. Um, this year I came to realize that it's so important to take rest between everything and sometimes you just need to give yourself some time to pull yourself out of everything and look at things with a whole new perspective. This year I suspended from school so that's my way to take a rest but there sure are so many ways you can give yourself a break and no matter what it is I think it's very important to do that number four art is the best therapy and number five the root of suffering is attachment number six it's very important to have solo dance party once in a while Seven. Number seven, an untold story never healed. I never know this until something terrifying happened to me. And after the event, I kept my mouth shut for four months. And it just, it just became this, it just grew into this big, deep wound that took my family and I so much time and money to recover but once I told my mom what happened and I started to have the courage to tell other people and I after that I can feel that I'm healing I can feel that something is changing inside of me I'm not afraid anymore I'm not scared of talking about the truth anymore so yeah if you ever been through sexual assault abuse, bullying, I think it's really important to talk about it even even though the society don't really want us to talk about it sometimes, I'm the dark side of the society. Of course a lot of amazing people is changing that fact right now so I'm very grateful and yeah Please share a story, it's okay, and don't let yourself live in the past. Number eight, you don't have to be friends with everyone. And number nine, it's very necessary to end toxic friendship. I always try to be a softie when it comes to making friends, but this year I started to have the courage to end the relationship that I'm not comfortable in, no matter it's the person hurt me or it's like I'm just I just don't feel comfortable being around them. Yeah. And I no longer need to please the people I don't like and I can just be true not only to myself but also to other people. Number 
10. Listen to your very wise body. If you feel tired, then take a rest. If you have a stomach ache, then be aware of what you're eating. Your body knows and it will always send you a signal. And so don't ignore them. And your physical health affect your mental health a lot. So you always have to be aware of how your body's feeling and listen to it. Don't try to ignore it. Number 11. Good friends are so important. But family comes before anything. Number 13. God is real as long as you believe it. Number 14. Asking for help doesn't make you look weak. No matter it's to your family or to your friend, no matter you're a boy or girl or man or woman, asking for help is the right thing to do. And it doesn't make you look weak. In fact, it shows that you are very aware of your state of mind and it's 100% a good thing. Number 15. There's beauty in strangeness. Number 16. You will still get hurt even when you're prepared. Number 17. Love big. Even when you didn't get the equal amount of love back, still love with your whole heart because in the end, you'll have no regret at all. <laughs> yeah, you will have no regret at all and that person will be the one who is losing something but you're, you'll end it up with everything because you will have the experience and at the same time, you learn so much from it and you're the kind person in the situation. So always love big. The last thing I learned in 2018 is that people leave. No one will stay forever, and this is very sad actually, but I think this is the biggest lesson of this year, because I lost so many things and people, no matter it's the loved ones, or some far away relatives, or my health, or my ability to learn, I lost so many things this year but yeah i think it's okay because i know i'll ended up having more oh so, yeah it's okay so those are the 18 things i learned in 2018 now i'm going to put the cookies into the oven and later i will share them with my family Hope you all have a merry and bright Christmas and thank you all for the sweet and kind messages. I really appreciate them. Sending you love. Bye. Tell my friends. Boom. Hi.